Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Summit 2 glove available at Revzilla.com. We have a saying at Revzilla.com, which is don't mess with success, but also don't be afraid to kill the sacred cows. Incessantly, this is the Summit 2, which is the replacement for one of the best-selling multi-season warm weather touring gloves we've ever seen at Revzilla.com, the original Summit H2O on my left. Now, the original Summit H2O is only $5 less than this new version, and they have overhauled all the things that we would have improved if we were running Revit. They overhauled the fit scheme, they overhauled the comfort scheme, and they overhauled the protection. Now you still have a men's version, which I'm wearing on my left hand, and there's also a ladies version, which doesn't sacrifice anything by way of quality, comfort, or protection. And again, that's gonna be in the same price range and a full ladies ergonomic fit. But if we look at the original, or we look at the new for 2016 Summit 2, I'm gonna walk through the big changes. The first big change is the knuckle. It's now a 3D sea soft knuckle, raised, better coverage, more ergonomic, more comfortable. The other thing you're gonna see when I put them next to each other is now they've gone to a Kevlar stretch material Material, on the back of the wrist, on the index finger, allowing for more flexibility and allowing them to get rid of some of these elasticated panels. Again, it just works better with you. If we flip it over though, you're gonna see the big change here. And the big change is going to be hard for you to, to really infer it other than me describing it, but it's the fit scheme, hourglass now, in the ring and middle finger. It now is going to work better when you're gripping the controls. It's also going to be H2O, which is going to be the Revit Hydrotex waterproof breathable layer, but it's MIC fit. And what that means is the waterproof breathable layer is bonded to the outer shell versus floating freely in the original version. So. When you're working this glove, you get all the response. You don't get any bunching of the liners. It feels like Gore Plus Grip, or it feels like that Gore-Tex system that has that Gore membrane bonded, but now they're doing it with Hydrotex. So again, you're not breaking the bank. You're just over the $100 mark, and you have a glove, waterproof breathable, and it's going to work with you. You still have your dual honeycomb slider. We're gonna talk about that in a second. The other key change is going to be the cuff. The previous cuff had a little bit more of a skirted feel to it, almost trapezoidal. This cuff is a little bit more succinct, but it has what I'm calling like the Ron Popeil of cuff designs for gloves. So it's a bit set it and forget it. You open the glove cuff like that, and then when you have your other gloved hand on, you pull it across and pull it down. Watch it again. There's open. Notice plenty of room, and then to cinch, you pull that way and you pull down. Revit has redefined all of the glove cinches for 2016. This is their colder weather option, which again has this one pull and down methodology to it. We really like it. The other key change too, and you're seeing it right here in the finger, is it's now touch tech. So finger and thumb will work with an iPhone or Android device, whereas the original Summit H2O did not. So remember, if you have heated grips, four season functionality. You're gonna get all four seasons out of the new Summit too. If you don't have heated grips, you're looking really spring, summer, fall, but remember, you're keeping that waterproof liner, so in the middle of the summer, you're not gonna get direct airflow. That is the trade-off you're making, but you get that waterproof, breathable, Hydrotex membrane from Revit. Now, quick note on fitment. We've already talked about it. I'm gonna home in specifically outside of the comfort factor on the fit factor. I'm wearing a size large. In the glove that I just tossed, which was the previous version, I wore an extra large. If you wore the old Summit H2O, that was the previous fit scheme for Revit, go a size down. I went from extra large to a large in the new Summit. Better fit, better box in the fingers, it's going to move better with you, but again, consistency now across the Revit line to where the newer gloves, including the Summit 2, are going to be more in line with the American market. So, Icon, I'm a large, first gear, I'm a large, I'm a large in Revit now. Previously, I was an extra large in their older style gloves, I'm still an XL in like a Dionese or an Alpine Stars. Now remember, use that size chart. Remember, if you wore the previous one, go a size down, if you're looking at it for the first time, use this chart, buy your American size. As always, we'll ship for free or 39 bucks. And what I would love is for you to click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. Tell me if you love the new Summit 2 as much as I do, both for men or women. There was a previous version for both genders. Now, diving to some of the other nuance here. Look at the narrowness of the cuff. You're able to cinch it down. Great for under the jacket. It's also big enough to go over the jacket. Little bit of a slider here on the outside for the ulna, lateral protection. We talked about Kevlar infused micro ripstop stretch back of the hand and the finger in some of the connective non-impact areas. We love the Seasoft backed 3D raised Seasoft knuckle. Again, 
better control, it's going to move with you, better coverage, better comfort, and again, it's just a more ergonomic and more expansive shape. Moving to the fingers, you still see a lightly raised TPR injected underneath this cowhide on top of the glove. Actually, I believe it's goat skin. And looking on the lateral side here too, you can see how that out seam protection wraps all the way around. Now, if I had a gripe, Rev it, if you're listening, you can still get to your production facilities, add a visor wiper on the left hand for a multi-season glove. It's a little bit missing, but I do like that they've given you this suede panel. Good for wiping your shield, also good as a snot patch. Not meaning to be gross, but I use to wipe my nose all the time. Now, moving over to the palm. Ditch the synthetic, it's now another layer of goat skin in the palm. We've talked about the McFit system. We've talked about the hourglass shape to your middle two fingers to eliminate bunching. We've talked about touch tech. Moving up the lateral side, you ditched a little bit of a slider here on the outside of this glove or outside of the outside protection. I'm okay with it. They kept the price where they kept the price. Again, full capture of that outseed, guard against low side. Remember, your dual honeycomb slider technology developed from the racing world, impact protection as well as slide protection, and it's going to sit atop of a dense foam sea soft panel. So again, you're getting the benefit of shock absorption and slide. And we talked about, someday I'll meet Ron Popeil. If you're watching this, you know Ron Popeil. Tell him he's got a big fan. He influenced my early childhood. But again, you get these great set it and forget it cuffs. Micro fleece in the liner. Remember, set up for three season, warm to cool weather riding, not taking it cold unless you have heated grips. Again, no insulation here. And a step up from this glove is going to be all leather and Vortex, that would be something like the Phantom GTX, or then you get north of that $200 mark and they become a bit more technical. But all in, multi-season touring, lighter weight adventure, three-season touring, commuting, rock solid glove, another step forward from Revit. I'm earmarking it early as potential ZLA award winner or at least nominee moving into 2016. We're very proud of the work that Revit's done on its glove collection moving into 16. Bravo, gentlemen, Gerby, crack a beer. The next step in your journey is to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com and read other rider reviews of the new Summit 2. I'm curious to see what everyone's out there putting it through its paces, if they love it as much as we love it. Go there. Remember, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.